Often the best way to truly see a place is from a bird's eye view, but you don't have to be a bird to have that view. A small company in Boulder, Colorado develops the technology to get those views with the help of satellites. Vexel Corporation, now a wholly owned subsidiary of Microsoft, has a long history of working with government partners, including NASA through the Small Business Innovation Research and Small Business Technology Transfer Programs, or SBIR and STTR. With SBIR funds from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and other federal partners, Vexel developed a tool called PhotoG. PhotoG was used to take digital photos and create very accurate 3D models of buildings and other objects. And it plays a role in shuttle maintenance and vibration analysis of space station power panels. Over a number of years, uh, and through these various SBIRs, the capability of PhotoG continued to improve in, in its use and its ability to uh, perform very accurate inspections like we're doing with the shuttle. The National Geospatial Intelligence Agency awarded Vexel an SBIR contract to process data from NASA's Shuttle Radar Topography Mission, or SRTM. SRTM collected data of the Earth's land surfaces, creating the first ever near global data set of land elevations. Working with Stennis Space Center, Vexel developed two different innovations, an Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar Processing System, or INSAR, that combined various satellite images to provide high-resolution topography maps, and an Apex Ground Station to receive and process geographical data and images from various satellites. The software and ground station are now commercially available products. One of the ground stations installed by the firm supports the Center for Southeast Tropical Advanced Remote Sensing, known as C-STARS, at the University of Miami. C-STARS receives and processes real-time Earth monitoring data from orbiting satellites, such as the areas affected by Hurricane Katrina. They could deliver uh, knowledge of what's going on down there uh, early on while the area was still cloud-massed. And then later, they used the electro-optical sensors to provide even more information. Through STTR funds from Goddard Space Flight Center, Vexel and Penn State University created an autonomous wireless network. The idea was to be able to have these wireless nodes. We could deploy those in, in Greenland, Antarctica, uh, Alaska, and we could monitor the ice flow and conditions in those areas without having scientists on, you know, on the ice. Part of a NASA-funded program called Sea Monster, the network monitors phenomena associated with glaciers, weather, and water in remote areas of southeast Alaska. The technologies Vexel developed over the years with NASA have enhanced Microsoft's virtual Earth capabilities. The digital Asian models are absolutely key to the virtual Earth uh, delivery of a, a very accurate, high-resolution 3D city models uh, ultimately around the world. In turn, Vexel brings new knowledge into its NASA projects. We leverage the technologies coming out of Microsoft Research and out of the, out of the product team technology groups. We leverage that to solve government geospatial problems. Beyond a bird's eye view of our own world, we'll eventually need one for other worlds and Vexel is working on two NASA missions that will map the lunar surfaces.